Well, that's it. Uh, test run complete. It, it ran phenomenally. Um, I'm sitting inches away from a motor I just rebuilt. It was kind of unnerving, but I, I, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I was steering just as much with my right foot as I was with my hands on the wheel. It was so incredibly fun. And I, the, the videos don't give it justice to the speed at which I'm going. Uh, when I was in Ohio, I had a buddy drive one who was a fan and he said they, they don't look this fast in the videos. And, and I agree, I mean, I watch the videos too and it's hard to capture the speed, the aggression, the, the ruthlessness of these. Um, I try, but it just doesn't come through. Um, if, if you wonder about uh, the speed these are going, take your car in your yard and go 50 miles an hour. <laughs> I doubt any car out there can get up to 50 miles an hour in a two acre plot of land. That's what I have, two acres. So it's roughly 800 feet and I was getting up to about 50. Uh, I probably could have gone faster, but I'm not gonna push it and hit a tree uh, I have I have a job, I have responsibilities, so I can't be too reckless. And that Speedo is calibrated for the cross cart tires, which are 18.5 inch tires. These are 23 inch tires. I didn't do the math on it, but it's probably more than 50 miles an hour. Regardless, I mean, speed is all a sensation, not necessarily a number, unless you're on a track and I'm not on a track, I'm in my backyard. So I hit third maybe a few times, but in my backyard, it's first and second gear only, but I was shifting the entire time. So it was still fun. Uh, I'd like to get into like fourth in my little home track here, uh, just for the sensation like I was talking about, but man, just being able to drift anything. I've done the barn drift a few times. I've done it with the number 27 Polaris. I haven't done, with, done it with the KTM yet because it's got a lot of torque. It's kind of hard to control because of all that torque. But this felt so good, I had to go for it. Yeah, this thing is absolutely incredible. And I haven't even tuned it. I haven't, I haven't tuned the suspension. I haven't tuned the engine. Uh, I haven't tuned the brakes. And just off the hip, it's handling so well. So, yeah, what what a ride, what an adventure. To everybody building these, you are in for a treat. No matter what engine you put in it, no matter what suspension you use, you are in for a treat. There's nothing like this. I've driven a lot of vehicles, a lot of motorcycles. Um, I'm a private pilot, I've, I've flown planes. There is no sensation like getting behind the wheel of something that does anything you've ever wanted to do in a vehicle. And that's what this is. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, that was roughly six, seven minutes of just uncut, real time driving experience. That's what I wanted to give you. Like what it was like to be behind the seat of one of these and also the third person view of the, the cool shots of it. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm gonna trailer these up and take them somewhere here in a couple weeks for you know, a real test. Stretch the legs and check them out, see what they're worth. Um, put this up against the KTM, see how it does. And obviously the 27. Uh, the, the number 27 is a 500cc Polaris. It doesn't really stack up against these. It's, it is fun, it is a blast to drive, but it's just not comparable to the torque of the KTM, uh, the lightweight of the KTM, or the horsepower of this 600cc crotch rocket engine. But we'll, we'll see. We're, we're going to stack them up and, and just see how it does. Um, my plan is to do a drag race, a lap race, uh, maybe a slalom. Um, zero to 60 times i i don't know I, let me know how you want the three compared in the comments and i will set up like a list of comparisons 
I know the weights of two of them. I haven't weighed this one yet, but the Polaris weighs about 630. The KTM before body work weighs about 530. This one I'm guessing weighs around probably closer to 700. But like I said, I haven't weighed them yet. So let me know what you want in the comments. Uh, this has always been your guys' channel. I, I, I started this whole thing for you guys. So whatever you guys want, I'll do my best to get it for you. Stay tuned. We are getting to that point of fun. Not just stuck in this garage building, but out there tearing yards up and, and testing and seeing how fast we can get these things. So thanks for watching. See ya.